What is going on people of YouTube? My name is Vicar Yo. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now today we've got another done deal and this one is huge. Yes, there's no face cam, I do apologise for that, but it's getting towards deadline day and I forgot to do ones and now I'm really behind. So this is about nine o'clock in the morning and you've got a done deal. Maybe even earlier, who knows? But done deal, episode whatever it is, and we're gonna start off with a Watford well, I say Watford Defender. It's about the eighteen football defender that's signed this season. And that man, of course, is Eunice Cabal, signed from Sunderland, going to Watford on undisclosed fee, valued at £4.5 million on FPL. And again, I'm just going to say I don't, I don't know what to expect with Eunice Cabal. You, you, he, sometimes he's really good, sometimes he's really bad. But at the end of the day, it's another Watford defender. And they've got far too many as it is. I mean, I'm counting on FPL, and they've got easily 10 now, plus. And also, there's a few others that I'm going to go into in a bit. But, yeah... I'd stay away from Cabal, you don't know what you're going to get, and um, you don't know if he's going to actually play, he did play at the weekend, but with more signings coming in, his well, first team future could be hanging in the balance already. Staying on the theme of Watford, we've got Roberto Pereira, who has joined from Juventus for an undisclosed fee. He's a midfielder, valued at £6 million, started off really well for Watford at the weekend, grabbed the first goal. I don't think he's going to go up in price at all, so £6 million should be alright. And I really, really rate him. He's a fantastic player, and that's a, I have criticised Watford a lot on Twitter and in videos, saying I've signed well too many players. This one is good, and I feel like he will be good this season, and he started off well scoring a good goal against Arsenal. Um, but that being said, you just again you just don't know what you're going to get. You got Pereira on six million. You've also got Success, who's just coming back now. You got midfielders like Amrabat and Guadiara, Kapuai in good form. Um, so I don't know what you're going to get. You also got Igalo and Dini up front, maybe even Otaka. Um, spoiler alert: Otaka um, has joined. I'll go into that in the next episode. But I'd say leave it. See how he does an international break, and then if you're using your wild card, maybe get him in. But next up, we have Stephen. Pina joining Sunderland from Everton on a free, valued at £5 million. Pounds. I'm not going to stay much on this. For me, it's a nothing signing. He's not going to do much for Sunderland, although he has played a Sunderland shirt at the weekend. I don't see him doing much. He's a bit past his time, and for me, I think he'll just go into a club player come at the end of the window. And then we've got a big, big signing. £27 million pounds for Christian Benteke. He's joined Crystal Palace from Liverpool. An attacker, valued at 7.4, had a really poor start, booked for descent. Didn't really have a good start at Crystal Palace, but if they can get the right players around him, putting the ball into the area for him, he will be an absolute menace. So I'll wait to see, because he wasn't really on the best form for Crystal Palace against Bournemouth. Wait for Palace's next game, see how he does, and then see if he can emulate it into his team right from there. But for me, you need to see him get well, in form first. A lot of their wingers are based around cutting inside and shooting, or cutting inside short balls. They need to put their crosses in the area. If they do that, you know, he's a force we reckon with. Then we've got a loan move. Hallelujah, we've got one loan move in the episode. Brendan Galloway joining West Brom on loan from Everton. Defender value at £4.5 million. Played a few games last season. And that could be a good differential. I think he's going to play a lot for West Brom. He's a good little left back. And he could, you know, get up and down the wings quite fast. Get a few assists and goals. So, yeah, I'd, I'd look into that. But the only problem is, is that if Chris Brunt comes back... Or when Chris Grump comes back, will he play ahead of Galloway? That's something I'm not too sure about. So bearing that in mind, if he doesn't um, come back ahead of Galloway, Galloway's a great signing if he does. For the temporary, it could be a decent signing, I suppose. And lastly, finally for this episode, we have got Daryl Yanmas. I did say a signing the more defenders, and I haven't even got on to the rest of them, but... Um, Daryl Yanma has joined Watford from Newcastle for an undisclosed fee. His defender value at £5 million. And if he plays, I'll just put this out now, if he plays and Watford can get solid at the back, he will be an amazing signing. Because last season, he was one of the best for assists. Um, you're looking at, he got two goals and four assists in the last season. He, of course, he came off the bench, um, he came off the bench this um, last game at the weekend. But if he can start playing, you're playing that right wing back slot, I believe. We'll play for, um, five at the back with him playing right wing back ahead of Amrabat. Could be really, really good if he plays, that is. Um, but I could see that being a really good signing if Watford play a solid football and get a few clean sheets. And that's that for this video. Hopefully, you have enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And what signings are you excited to see in FPL? Rumour has it that as I'm recording this, we've broken £1 billion of spending, which we didn't break until the winter transfer um, window last season, which is good but also depressing, I suppose. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed, and peace.